Good evening and salam alaikum. Uh, welcome to Sporium. Today we're, we're going to be talking about London Tigers and its wider programs and activities on sports. I know everybody thinks London Tigers is all about football. Uh, we will have some discussions in, in the middle segment about football because obviously London Tigers won the ILFL uh, Unity Cup the, uh, on, on yesterday. So uh, we'd, we'd like to talk about, first of all, some of our women's sports that's happening uh, within, our, uh, w within the London Tigers and also some of the areas. And we've got some key uh, women in, that are actually actively in, involved with London Tigers. Uh, we, we just wanted to highlight some of the programs that they're doing. So I'll go ahead and introduce our guests that are here today. Um, first of all, we, we've got Diane, who's actually a volunteer with the London Tigers. So welcome on the program, Diane. Hi. Yeah. And then we have here Asma Babi, uh, legendary, legendary cricketer, uh, Shaidul Anand Ratan's wife. So we are honored to have you here, Babi. Uh, first time uh, to see you on the couch of Sporium. So oh, welcome on the you. program. Thank you. And then we have here Sultana, and I think again, it's probably the first time for Sultana to come here. And she's actually our uh, development manager for London Tiger. So welcome on the program. Thank you. And then we have here Nazifa, who, who's actually, you, well, she's, she's <laughs> been here before on the program yeah. uh, when we did the award ceremony uh, d discussions for London Tiger. So welcome on the program, uh, Thank Nazifa. Thank you for inviting me again. No problem. I think one of the things that we, we want to highlight today, Sporium's about sports, and we want to inspire people across the country who, who are actually um, watching this program. And particularly, I think, in, you know, uh, everyone tends to think that London Tigers is all about football, semi-pro football competition winning. But actually, many people don't realize, I mean, we've probably got about more than 400, 500 ladies that are involved yeah. in our programs across the London, uh, the boroughs that we're, we're working in. So I think it would be a good idea if we can give a snapshot, of, uh, first of all, let's be consultana uh, <laughs> for a while, about our ladies' projects that's happening um, in different areas. Um, I think the number's probably a lot closer to 1,000 across London. Just in Tower Hamlets alone, we have around 500 women, don't yeah. we? Asma does most of the deliveries. Uh, we run all sorts of programs, so it's not just um, badminton and football. It's things like aerobics, fitness, um, and we've done lots of different... Cricket. Cricket, exactly. Boxing. And not just women. We try to incorporate mums and children together as yes. well, so that it reaches out to everyone. And we try to provide um, private women-friendly environment so that women feel at ease and they can come along and participate without worrying about other people seeing or being uncomfortable yeah. or anything. Yes, yes. So it is, um, Asma Mabi, I know, y you know, uh, you've got your own inspiring story. You know, you, you came to this country, got involved with London Tiger somehow, yeah. and then you became the Pied Piper for the women <laughs> in, in, in Tower Hamlets, which is uh, really astonishing because there's a lot of people that actually do come because of yourself being involved and w w yeah. we all know that and you've been very inspiring to everyone how does that happen uh, you, you know how do you manage to inspire people and engage people because for some people the people that you you're actually engaged are very hard to reach a lot of people would say in in the terms of community work they, they'll say oh they're very hard to reach communities how do we get them involved so how do you manage to be successful in that um uh, first of all i would like to thank london tiger to give me that opportunity to run activity for ladies. Because as a woman, I really want to do something which will impact in the uh, total society. So start with their family, then they can reach to the, uh, their neighbors, then to the, their borough. And after that, if we can develop one borough, then uh, we can um, inspire whole country. So this is the main important thing. So first, when we start, it was only eight ladies in Stephanie Green School. So uh, it was quite hard to get more people involved. So I used to call them, uh, why don't you are coming? They said, no, I'm a family, China, Jawa. So I told them, look, you need to keep fit yourself. If you want to look after your family, you need to keep yourself healthy and active. If you are not well, how can you look after your family? So that thing, I think, uh, they Made them think. Yeah. yeah, yeah yes. I think in if our community, yeah. women are the backbone of the family. Yeah. They are the center. So yes. what they do impacts the children, the spouses. Yes. And because we're quite connected to our ext um, extended family, it impacts yeah. them as well. So yeah, so yeah, if you impact them, it will affect the rest of the community. So after that, you know, in my session, some of my session, 
grandmother, yes. daughter, and granddaughter. Three generations, they participate. Are, are involved in it. Yes. Wow, that's fantastic. That, that's really great achievement. I think I think one of the things that I've seen because I go to some of the uh, uh, you know the awards giving yeah. days, uh, which uh, you know unfortunately I, I have to t turn <laughs> up and I see, honestly speaking, and you know even in the award ceremony, uh, many uh, tr traditionally many Bangladeshi community leaders have come in and they see that how can you get you got your semi professional football guys that are going up on the awards and you've got mum's yeah. age and uh, you know grandmother's age uh, w women that are going up there and they're receiving yes. this you know similar awards yeah. and that's you know to, to many people that's not, that that actually touched them more that yeah. the work of London Tigers has been inspired by uh, you know m many people Diane I think you know you're a very key important person because you've been volunteering with Lom London Lord. Tigers for, for quite a few now. years yeah, now and um, volunteering uh, and volunteers I think in London Tigers play very important role of the growth of the organization delivering programs it, what made you actually join them well asthma grabbed went, you I went to one of her classes once and she said Diane come on you know and she she made me she inspired me really to, so to start what, what sort of things do, do you do right I can teach boxing I'm wow. a boxing coach I do football I do um, badminton but I don't like losing by the way <laughs> and, and I, I just love teaching you know, okay. and, and seeing results. And do you feel the people are participating in a wide range of the sports that you you yes. just mentioned? Yeah. The, the, the women are, you know, quite interested. Not many people know about women boxing, you know, and we need to get more people in, to especially children and mothers. And when they when they find out I do boxing, they say, oh, my God, you know, can I do that? Because of course you can. You know, we can all do it. But it's, all, it's you know, it's quite inspiring to... Um, you know, try to try and get you know mums and childrens coming together yeah. and, and, and and actually joining in this, uh, the same activities because you're actually uh, <laughs> killing you know yes. two things in one stone really because we're here we're trying to encourage ch children which is also children. becoming a, a major you would have yes. think children will participate in sports quite easily particularly girls but it's quite difficult it's sometimes hurt, yeah you, you've Especially got to encourage them yeah. you've got to when they come to our classes. Um, they just sit aside and I just go over and talk to them and try and encourage them to come over and you know and they they love it they end up coming back for more don't they yes they always yes. end up coming back for more but I think you know people uh, joining in together as uh, you, you know mums and daughters coming in and jo yeah. joining the same sport is, is probably motivating you know and helping yes. each other you say three generations are coming in so what do you yes. think about that uh, Sultana? Well, I think if one of them ever feels demotivated the other one can you know pull them along and come and tend so that's probably how it works right yeah <laughs> but I think you know the the impact that um, the sports can make in, in people's life I think mean, one of the things that you you've mentioned uh, you know if you don't look after uh, yourself, how, you, how, you, how are you going to look after the rest? But al al also, it's a social meeting point. You, you, don't you yes. think it's a, it's yes, a social exactly. meeting point for people? Because many people uh, can live in, a, in one area and won't know but each they other. Don't, yeah. They, they don't know each other, That's but through, uh, through this, they're, they're actually interacting. Yes. So is that helping their mental health? Oh, definitely. Definitely. It's, it's so important that, you know, you're encouraging everybody to come in, you know, and it does affect your mental health, you know, especially if you're not very well come in you mix with other people you have a good time and plus you're getting fitter at the same time which is and a good thing. anyone wants to take part in competitions because i know the badminton club yes, is is striving all the time, is, is <laughs> all the time. and yes. i push them hard as yes. well don't i i do push them hard all so the time yeah so i think is there a future for badminton club because obviously london tigers have got a men's badminton club playing in league so yeah we the, the, the ladies of might be interested yeah, young yeah. kids yeah. they are very good. What do you think? Yeah, they're very good. Very and good. Push them a little bit, and you know, yeah. and they love it. You know. But there is also a lot of work b behind the scenes, and I know uh, people like <laughs> Nazifa Sultana are uh, involved from my head office uh, working there. Uh, you know, what sort of uh, key, key roles uh, do you think you play? At, you know, from uh, from the office, supporting them with the, with all the admin. Um, as they were talking about events and stuff. You, people need to know about this event so that a lot of ladies would come even if it, even if they don't participate they don't they have this first image they, they f the first thing they have as you said oh na shobji sob pochondo na family dite chaina and all that so they come there just to have a look 
So you need to inform them that these events are happening so that they go there. So it's about invita invitation. So head office, in the head office, we play that role as uh, we send these invitations. So Tana who makes these leaflets and uh, sending invitations to big people, counselors and other people who know that, okay, the stuff's happening er in their area. They come and have a look and they, they are happy seeing that. So they motivate others and uh, it's basically these things which you need to play behind because these, these things are not being seen from the front all these um yeah poor Nazifa has to answer all the phone <laughs> calls yeah. chase people up to make sure mm, things paperwork. happen yeah. do but all the paperwork but, um, but Sultana you, you, you know from why here you play uh, also very multi uh, <laughs> talented roles uh, in yes. the office as, as, as well from, from the social media mm. leaflet magazine designing to website update <laughs> so you know how do you you know fill all those roles in um, you know in, in a short time I'm lucky I have several different interests, so I can't, I've got those skills and interests to manage the social media and publicity for London Tigers, as well as managing the projects. So, I mean, none of these projects would happen without funding, for example, or with partners. Yes. Yeah. Stepney Green School is so successful because the schools partner with us yes. and they've been yes. so supportive in us running the sessions. Same with all the other sessions Benyons that we are in, Ben Johnson School, Hague yeah. Primary Big School. Funding. Bromley um, Bible Centre. Yeah, exactly. And these are all in Tower Hamlets yes. uh, borough. Yes. So let's talk about some of the programmes that you're you're delivering now. So actually we, we can, you know, inspire people to actually participate in. So, you know, let people know some of the programmes that you're running now. Maybe Asma Babi can help you with that. <laughs> Go on, list all these <laughs> Okay, so Steph Regan School, I think this will be our sixth year. Wow, that's brilliant. So, and average attendance, I think, never less than 50. What do you think? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes. So and that runs on Saturdays? Every Saturday, 10, 10 to 1 o'clock. Okay. Yes. So, we do aerobics and badminton. So, badminton. I run aerobics and she runs the badminton. badminton. badminton After okay. that, we have got some kids. Seven to fourteen years. Yes, she uh, teaches the boxing. A bit of boxing, okay. a bit of football. They like. Th yeah. This is from ages Step seven for seven, to, seven 14. to fourteen. Okay, yeah. and then you have the ten to one is for what age group? Um, aerobics, ten to twelve. Yeah. Any age. Any age. Okay. Women, and badminton also any yeah. age can play. So uh, this is four badminton court. We use half for the exercise and half for the badminton. Okay, and any other programs? Yeah, so next one, Monday we run two classes. One, Hague School from 9 to 10.15. After that, Bromley Bible Center, 11 to 12.15. And Tuesday we have, s we started a new session at Aberfield Center. It's in Poplar. So it's from 9 to half 10. Okay, and for these things, uh, for if, if somebody wants to contact to join in, uh, they can call the office 0207 289 3395 or email asma at londontigers.org or myself, Sultan. Oh, actually, general, but they can contact through the website, yeah, or yeah. through the yeah. website, yes. Okay, all right. Uh, I mean, I think one of the things that I, w I wanted to actually find out is behind the scene work. I mean, I, kn I know you're running a lot of uh projects and things like that and you've got asthma and and you've got diane who, who are actually key looking after you know some of the um forefront of the work but what sort of things do you have to do to manage projects uh, behind the scenes uh, i have to do fundraising bids to make sure there's money to pay for wonderful people like <laughs> asthma to run the sessions um, and that includes monitoring as well so giving back reports and gathering everyone's data to make sure there are how many people are attending the sessions and the funders are happy with that um, as well as publicizing, mm -hmm. so making sure all the information goes out to all the websites, getting leaflets out, and getting the outreach workers to go and talk to the communities and tell them about these events that are happening. Um, sometimes recruiting as well, so for this new project we had to recruit, so recruiting new people. So it's lots of different things that you have to do to get a project going. But I think, you know, the, the work that you, you know, that you guys are doing, uh, actually, you know, it's got to be continuous. So, so obviously, other, other, otherwise, if it stops, yeah. then what happens? So I think one of the most important one is, like you mentioned, is, is always continuously seeking funding to actually continue mm -hmm. uh, the, the projects. But I think, 
you know, people like Diane play a very key role uh, okay. in, in continuing some of the programmes. Definitely, um, without volunteers, yes, London Tigers wouldn't anything. run. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. been times when we've not hun had funding, but because of volunteers like yeah. Diane, we've managed to go through areas of no funding and then until we got the new funding to continue the session. So mm -hmm. volunteers are the backbone of London Tigers. And do you have mm -hmm. many more volunteers like Diane that are, that, that, that uh, are involved? I have volunteers, but not like Diane. <laughs> Diane is the special one. Special. Very <laughs> competition. Yes, yeah. uh, because uh, some of volunteers, they help me to do the registers. Right. When the new ladies come, some of the ladies, they can fill their forms. So some of them help me to how to do it. Because yes. at this time, i supposed to run the session. If I stop the session and doing the register, the people who attend on time, they will be bored. So I tell the reg uh, volunteer, do the register, then join us. Okay. I think that's a great way of building confidence of yeah. those women as well. Everybody a lot of do women try and help yeah, yeah. Everybody um, try and chip in. Yeah, everybody a lot does. of women that attend these sessions are like our mum's age, yeah. Yeah. who don't yeah. have confidence, who are isolated, don't have the language skills, yes. things like and sometimes that. Sometimes they don't even attend because of that, because yeah. they feel demotivated. Yes. Yeah. But, but, but I think also, you know, it's, it's, it's quite important to actually, um, you know, show them the vision that w why they should come and, you know, how they will be benefit. Because I think, you know, some of the things that, you know, nowadays uh, when you have within our own communities, uh, you've got coronary heart disease as the yeah. big trouble. Diabetes is another one, yes. which, uh, you, you know, when you go to GPs, they, they actually say, yeah. go and do exercise. That's the first thing that they do nowadays over, over the last few years. And I think, you, you know, that's something that people have seen, that people have become over last few years very inactive. And not, not just older people. Yes. There's a lot of children yes. nowadays yes. are glued yes. to the TV, yes. laptop, yes. computer games, yes. even phones and, and yes. playing yes. games. And I think there is that encouragement, the push, that of getting them um, actively involved in some form of exercise or yes. physical activities. And I think that this is something that you're actually doing by, by getting the parents yeah. as well as the children coming in together. Yes. And, and do you think that's going to grow? Do you, do, do you think that's yes. uh, working well? Definitely. It, it is yeah. a, I get yeah. a lot of people that they say we've got diabetes, we've got this problem, we've got that problem. And I say to them, just do it nice and slowly, nice and easy, in your own pace. And you, and you know, now that they're really active. But at first they were very slow and yeah. scared to do everything. But now, as they've been coming a few months, a good year, they're really good and they're really active and they love it. I've awesome. seen in it's asthma sessions letting. actually that you have di different people doing different levels. So yes. not everybody's doing the same thing. So if That's somebody right. can't lift their leg really yeah. high, That's she just right. tells them, just start a little bit, whatever you can do. So everyone's at different levels, but still yeah. aiming yes. towards yeah, the same thing. Yeah, you need thing. to give them options. So yeah, yeah you right. can, yes. you have beginners, you have, uh, the mediocre and the advanced. Yes. So you need to maintain all the levels. Uh, absolutely. And, right. and, and, and I think, you know, keep keeping that, that's giving them a bit of, uh, yeah, so, you know, yeah. confidence, oh. self-esteem to actually yeah. Yeah. say, well, you know, I can just stick with my level. I don't yeah. have to do, yeah. you know, So after competition. a couple of weeks, yeah, they can improve their self. And the other thing we do as well for our projects is make sure everyone does their BMI checks, their height, yes. weight, and everything. And they, you yeah. give them yes. feedback every quarter, and they see that they're actually improving. And I think that, that's a motivation yes, as yes, well, isn't definitely. it? They, definitely they see they're losing improve. weight, so yeah. and they can see that they're feeling healthier. So that's another motivation yeah. for them to continue. There is you've got some future events that that, that are coming up. So uh, do you want to hi highlight that? I think it's, it's coming up soon, or yes, it's on the thirtieth of. Like to <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's on the 30th that, so of may, April. Maybe you can attract people. <laughs> Go on. Um, 30th of April, Saturday, 10 to 1 p.m. Um, at Stepney Green School. Asma and I'll Dan be will be leading yeah. the sessions. Yeah. So everyone is welcome. This is for women and children. Is there anything else you want to add to that? Uh, what, what would be the activities that, y that you'll do on that day? So we will be running aerobics, cricket, badminton. Yeah. And after that, there will be two games, one for children. So Salman, he will be running the children games, and me and Diane will be running badminton competition. Okay, so there will be prizes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, and there'll be lunch, lunch, free and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it's a healthy one. <laughs> yeah, they can work it off, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, really appreciating for you all to come into the program and highlight some of the programs. Is there anything else that you you, you want to highlight? Any any other pro programs uh, before we f uh, finish up on this segment? Uh, we'll be doing lots of new programs, um, engaging women and girls with new fundings that are coming through with the London Mayor's. 
uh, sports participation fund. So there'll be lots more that London Tigers will be doing with women and uh, girls. Um, and as always, we're open to new ideas, new partnerships. So if anyone has any ideas or they want us to run a project or yeah. a new sports, we're always welcome. Um, we're always happy to take feedback and do these new sessions. So please get in touch so you can contact us on our website or call us. Okay. As well, uh, any, anything you want to add on? Um, I think, yeah, we can run different sports. So it's uh, depend on how she can manage it because <laughs> she's a multi sports player. Sports. That's yeah. really great. All, all I can so say is we um, have got lots of plans. Yes. So when she done her boxing, then we can move on to Something basketball else, yeah. or football. So it's depend on the people's interest, what yes. they want to do. Yeah. We are here for help them. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, uh, Diane. Even if you're a complete beginner, please yeah, come along. Yeah, it doesn't. Do come. Y yeah. You'll do well. After a few weeks, you'll fit in with everybody and, you know, you'll be doing very well. So even if a complete beginner, please come along. You know, we've got time for you. Okay, I think we've got a caller online. So let's see who's online first. Okay. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Who's calling, brother? What would you like to say? Uh, well, uh, I'm going to pass you on to my uh, nephew. He's going to speak. Uh, his name's Yasin. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Yasin. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Yasin. How are you? Who would you like to talk to? Hello. Hello, mommy. I just wanted to say hello. Hi. <laughs> Oh, is this for Sultana? I think so. I think it's one of the... Oh, that's so nice. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your call. She is listening if you want to say something. All right. Really appreciate you for your call. Thank you for for joining in. Really, you know, honoured to have you all here, honestly. And hopefully in the future you can come down and promote some of the other women's sports programs that are happening because we, we do want to encourage more women participation from within our own community. So thank you all for coming down, uh, putting the trouble to come here. Uh, we're going to continue the discussion straight, uh, straight after the break. So see you then. <laughs>